Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, today is October the 1st, and it's 9.01 a.m. All right, our sister Morella sent me some scriptures that uh, she received in her email, I guess. Uh, today's verses. Now, I want to zoom in on this one from Luke, chapter 10, verses 2. I do believe this is one of the scriptures that backs up the two raptures or harvests or whatever you want to call it. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. All right. I say this because we know that the barley harvest is like, is the first fruits to Jesus. Uh, I believe the word says to first fruits to the lamb. Uh, I can't quote it. Anyway, when the Hebrews would uh, gather the first fruits of the barley harvest, they would take some, you know, cut some off and wave it before the Lord. And it was just a small part compared to the rest. Okay, Jesus was called the first fruits of the dead. He was the first human being to raise up from the dead. That is why he's called the first fruits. Okay, so now there needs to be first fruits of humans. Those of us who will. Go up to heaven and get our glorified bodies as first fruits to the Lamb, to Jesus. We're the bride, but we're also the few who are going to come back in our glorified bodies with our instructions that will be taught. We'll have special armor and superpowers. And we will go out and harvest the wheat, which is plentiful. As it says here, the harvest is abundant. So there are many, there are many people who know about Christ They've accepted him as their savior, but didn't really know what they were doing. Many knew what they were doing, but for some reason or another, they're not living well, right, correctly enough, holy enough. That's the right word. We must be holy, even as our, let's see, how did Jesus put it? You must be holy as I am holy. Okay, and then when he said, be ye perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. I'm sure people look at that and go, Lord, will I ever make it? I am so not perfect. I still mess up. I do too. I love the Lord with all my heart and I still mess up. Why? I'm still human. We have this flesh we got to deal with. So that is why repentance is still necessary. Nobody can just accept Jesus one day, maybe at church, maybe with a friend, however it happened for you. Maybe you did it alone with Jesus in your bedroom. However you did it, hallelujah, you committed yourself to the Lord. 
but you still mess up. Well, that's why I say to you, ask for forgiveness every single day. I do it every night in the Lord's Prayer. And if I catch myself saying that, like just from moat, is it called rote, rote memory? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And my mind is on what I forgot to do today. And oh my gosh, I left a sink full of dirty dishes and I really wanted to get those washed today. You would not believe how long some of those dishes have been in my sink. The crock pot. Because it's been so hard for me to stand up lately. But yesterday, I got some work done. I dusted. I cleaned my rug again. But this morning was successful. <sighs> We're getting there. He's been backsliding here a little bit lately. But anyway. Where is my little baby dog? Where's my baby dog? Is he on my bed? No, he's not on my bed. Hmm. Jasper, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, look, folks. Can you see him? Where are you, Jasper? I just saw you. There he is. <laughs> He's sitting on the step stool right behind his chair that he uses to get up on the bed with. <laughs> anyway, I was saying, um, the laborers are few. That's why the first fruits rapture will not be that many people. It'll be those of us trying to live holy. Asking for forgiveness when we mess up. And loving him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Okay. I just wanted to share that with you. That that was a verse uh, that is one of the verses that I believe helps to back up the two harvests. There's the laborers, and then there's the plentiful or abundant harvest. The laborers are few. Okay. Well, whether you agree or not, it's all right. Just know that those of us who go up are coming back to help those left behind. And we will be helping you. We will be healing, protecting, raising people from the dead, feeding multitudes like Jesus did. We can take a small amount of food and increase it. I believe it with all my heart because Jesus said, Greater things than these shall you do. Oh, and my shirt, which I never wear because it's a tank top. And it's too thick for summer, but it's sleeveless, so I can't wear it in the winter. So I bought this little sweater. It was not expensive at all off Amazon. And it says, Jesus is my husband. And that is in Isaiah 54 5 thy maker is thy husband and when Jewish women would get betrothed remember when Mary and Joseph got betrothed they weren't married yet ceremony hadn't took place yet did I say Jesus I meant Joseph if I didn't <laughs> when Joseph and Mary got betrothed they didn't have a wedding ceremony until later. Okay, just like all the Jewish women and men, 
They, I think they would tie a string around their wrist. That's how they did it in uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. You wouldn't believe that was if you didn't see it. I think that was it. Or Wait a minute. What was that movie called? Was that right? It was a musical. But it was about Russian Jews. They were stuck in Russia. And there was a couple that got engaged. And he tied a, a string around her wrist. I don't know how that thing was supposed to stay on there a whole year. But anyway, maybe they were too poor to for him to get her a, like a metal bracelet. I don't know. Maybe things changed through the years. But she had something to prove she was married. She was taken. You see, when he found out she was pregnant, he had to prove he was going to privately divorce her. So they were already considered married. And if you have committed your life to Jesus, you are already married to him. And if you go back into the world and turn your back on him, even if you don't really consciously think of it that way, you're just having a little bit of fun for a little while. Because this rapture thing is taking forever. You're, you're divorcing him. Doesn't mean you can't repent and recommit. Because the only thing that keeps you from being able to repent and go to heaven is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And then eventually taking the mark of the beast. Which, by the way, they led us to believe it was the injection of a little glass cylinder about the size of a grain of rice that you would have injected into your right hand. So now, people that don't watch YouTube videos and haven't heard, if they've heard that part, they're going to think, taking a vaccine and this other hydrogel tattoo which can glow in the dark thanks to luciferase or how it's pronounced and luciferin which they get from frogs and fireflies people that's in it it's the one that you're going to put on like a band-aid and it's going to have little tiny pins, needles, that will inject this stuff into your, let's see, it's your, it'll be your right hand. Or you can put it on your forehead. That's how they'll put it on your forehead. There's enough meat there to put little tiny needles I kept wondering how they going to inject that thing in somebody's forehead. There's not enough meat there. Unless it was right here between the eyes. Boy, that would hurt. Anyway, I rambled on enough. I hope I made a couple of points. That uh, harvest workers are few. It's why not that many people go in the first rapture. Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So apparently the things that verse is talking about that we have seen. Okay, the things that verse is talking about we have not yet seen. These awful fires and storms and earthquakes in some places are not, it's tribulation for those living in that area. But it is not the tribulation. Okay? We are in, let me rephrase that. I do believe we are in a 
a tribulation. It's just happening here and there and yonder. So, yeah, I, I said that wrong. The great tribulation, which is God's wrath, will be after the first fruits rapture. And I think possibly even the second one, because it's not intended for us to suffer God's wrath. So whether he spares the first, the, the second bunch, the multitude too large to number that appears in heaven at the sixth seal. See, that's before his wrath. His wrath gets poured out starting in chapter 7. So doesn't that sound to you like it will be before? I know people say, and the Lord told me, the book of Revelation is not written in chronological order. So I can't stand on that. That, oh, this is in chapter 6 and that's in chapter 7. It's possible God's wrath will begin and that the great earthquake is part of it. Okay? So, everybody just be ready. Be ready to die. That's what I say. Death is instant. You close your eyes and you open them in heaven. How great is that? But getting to come back and fight for him, to fight for your souls, to fight out demons, casting out demons left and right. That's the part I look forward to. I want to kick them things to the curb and get them out of people. The demons that make them sin and make them do the things they do. Okay. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every single one of you and me and our devices and our internet connections. Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.